Hello everyone, PS from PS Invest plays here today. Since July 2021, Activision Blizzard stock has nosedived and it has shared 37% due to internal corporate scandals. Has this created an opportunity to buy the dip or should you completely avoid it? In this video, we will understand its business, its financials, its future growth outlook and review its chart using Elliott Wave to see how we can make money. So stick around, I think you'll like what I have in store for you today. Activision Blizzard, ticker ATVI. Activision Blizzard is an American video game holding company based in Santa Monica, California. A member of the Fortune 500 and S&P 500, it is also one of the world's most successful standalone interactive entertainment and gaming companies. Activision Blizzard was formed in 2008 by the merger of Activision, one of the largest console video game publishers, and Blizzard, one of the largest PC video game publishers. The combined firm remains one of the world's largest video game publishers. Activision's impressive franchisee portfolio includes World of Warcraft, which boasts more than $8 billion of lifetime sales, and Call of Duty, which has sold more than 175 million copies across 14 titles over 12 years. Recently, its stock price took a nosedive because of internal corporate scandals. Internal corporate issues and new game timelines that were delayed have sent shares plummeting 37% since July. Sometimes the stock market overreacts, creating investment opportunities for patient and shrewd investors especially when the reaction comes from sentimental reasons. While it recorded Q3 revenue and EBITDA that met fact sets expectations, that didn't matter much to investors considering the accusations of repeated alleged sexual harassment and discrimination. The company is struggling to solve the harassment scandals, which were revealed when California sued the company for alleged sexist culture on July 22nd, followed by employee walkouts on July 27th. Since then, most of the news about the company has drawn attention to this matter. According to BBC News on October 20th, more than 20 employees had exited the company following the scandals, increasing concerns that it will undermine the company's ability to retain key resources and the announcement that the company delayed major game releases seems to indicate that these concerns are becoming a reality. The issue so far has affected the fundamentals. For example, the difficulty in hiring the talented due to the evil reputation of an unhealthy work environment will likely prevent the company from reaching its full potentials. Nevertheless, the concerns overshadow the company's track record in the gaming industry. All that said, it feels like the worst has been priced into the stock at this point, and it's currently trading at a really attractive multiple of 16x forward earnings. That's a great core underlying business here that produces significant free cash flow and its video games will be an important part of the new metaverse for years to come. Also, I'm confident that it should be able to fix these issues sooner than later. It is on pace to earn $3.80 per share in fiscal 2021, a 35% increase over 2020. Although earnings in fiscal 2022 are expected to flatten out as some sales were suddenly pulled forward due to 2020 closures, the company is expected to grow EPS by $19 in fiscal 2023 to $4.56 per share. Also, 
the dividend yield is currently low, 0.8%, but it has grown its annual payouts at a compound rate of 10.6% over the past 10 years. In addition, the company has plenty of room for future growth with a payout ratio of only 12%. The company's balance sheet also is extremely strong with $9.7 billion of cash and short-term investments, equating to 20% of current market capitalization. Specifically, it is trading at a huge discount to its historical PE multiple on a forward basis. 16.2x 2022 earnings. That said, as the company moves forward and writes the ship internally, I think there could be some room for margin expansion in the near future. Video games are now one of the mainstream forms of entertainment. Thanks to the growing number of people enjoying them and, and various ways to play them, the video game industry is expected to expand further. According to GameIndustry.biz, the total global games market size was about $175 billion in 2020. The growth has been strongly driven by games using mobile platforms and mobile platforms hold the most significant shares of about 49.3% in 2020, increasing from 43.4% in 2017. With the performance of mobile devices and wireless networks with low latency, the mobile game environment has improved and more gamers prefer playing games on mobile devices. As a result, the global game industry will grow at a CAGR of 8.7% from 2019 to 2022. Mobile should show the highest growth rate of 13.2% followed by consoles at 9.1% and PCs at 6.4%. ATVI is well positioned to take advantage of industry tailwinds. It has a well diversified source of revenues across the platforms, consoles, mobile and PC. Moreover, with best selling games in each category, it should reap the fruits of the expanding industry in the future. Looking at the financials for ATVI, revenue, gross profit, EBITDA, net income, EPS or earnings per share have increased considerably quarter over quarter and year over year. Even when you discount 2020 and compare 2021 financials with 2019, they have increased by a very good clip. In the chart on the right, free cash flow or FCF currently stands at $3.60 per share. Based on the current price to FCF ratio, the stock is trading at a discount when compared with historical averages. In the chart on the left, earnings per share or EPS currently stands at $3.37 per share and the PE ratio is 18. Based on the current stock price to EPS ratio, the stock is again trading at a discount when compared with historical averages. Based on long-term and short-term views on Activision Blizzard, I believe the risk versus reward profile with its stock is very attractive at current levels. It is trading at the best valuations in three years. The last time it traded at today's price to earnings ratio, investors made 17.5% CAGR annual returns and that includes the recent 37% crash. Or to put it in another way, the last time its stock was about 20% undervalued, it went on to beat the S&P 500 in one of the hottest tech rallies in history. And that was after 37% from becoming 20% overvalued. Finally, its stock is undervalued giving given favorable industry outlooks and its solid operating history. But recent events about the company's misbehavior made investors exit. I think investors who have a long-term investment horizon should take this opportunity to buy the dips. This is also indicative in the charts where I see the stock price to experience some pullback before it increases considerably in the next five to six years. 
Now, let's take a look at the chart of Activision Blizzard. Sorry for the interruption, but I wanted to take a moment to remind you that if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. With that said, let's get back to our analysis. Looking at the chart for Activision Blizzard, the bull run that started in 2019 is still not over. It has completed its first wave and now wave 2 which is a corrective wave is in progress. I see strong resistance around $53.21 and strong support around $46.28. To me this is the accumulation range. After this correction is completed, I expect wave 3 to resume and wave 3 is typically 200% of waves 1 to 2, giving us a short term price target of $186.13. After wave 3 is completed, I expect wave 4 to resume which is typically 23.6% retracement or a correction of wave 3, again giving us a short term price target of $154.81. After this correction is completed, I expect wave 5 to resume which should be the final leg up. Wave 5 is typically 61.8% of waves 1 to 3, giving us a final price target of $245.63, which translates into a 380% profit in the next 5 to 6 years. Now let's summarize. The stock of Activision Blizzard is discounted and I see an opportunity to nibble any pullbacks and accumulate corrections. For me, the accumulation range is a price between $46.28 and $53.21. After this correction is completed, I recommend holding its stock for the next 5-6 to six years as I see a price target of $245.63, which translates into a 380% profit in the next 5-6 to six years. What do you think of this analysis? Please leave me a comment and let me know. As always, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and hit the notification bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. Until then, bye bye.